Good morning, Community Family Church. Welcome to you all and everybody watching on social media. Thanks again for joining me for this devotion. Today I'd like to talk about the power of your attitude in thanksgiving. And I'd like to start by reading the first verse of Psalm 107. Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. For his mercy endures forever. Are you a thankful person? You know, often when my car is stopped at a red light, I notice other drivers who want to merge onto the lane in front of me. I often wave the driver onto the road ahead of me because I personally am very grateful when other drivers show me similar kindness. Sadly, when people are treated with courtesy, sometimes there is no acknowledgement or appreciation. When Paul wrote his second letter to Timothy, he said one of the characteristics of the last days is that people will be unthankful. How very common that is in our present days. In Luke 17, verse 11 to 19, we read how Jesus healed ten lepers. However, only one of the ten returned to show appreciation for his miraculous healing. The miracle revealed the attitude of the thankful leper's heart, as well as the attitudes of those who didn't express thanks. When Jesus told the thankful man that he was healed, Jesus may have meant a deeper work in this man's heart. The other lepers had whole bodies, but sick hearts. The late Matthew Henry, a well-known Bible commentator and minister, was once robbed of his wallet. That night he wrote in his diary that he was thankful he'd never been robbed before this incident. Second, he gave thanks that the robbers had not taken his life. Third, Henry noted that although the robbers took all the money in his wallet, it really wasn't very much. And finally, the minister wisely recognized that he was thankful to be the one being robbed and not the robber. As God's people, we have everything with which to be thankful. It is good to reflect on what you have. Every good gift is from God. God has blessed you with life access to a personal relationship with him, daily provision, gifts and talents, work, family, friends, the family of God and a hope of heaven with him for eternity. The more we learn about God, the more we should praise and glorify him. Our gratitude, gratitude to him for all of his goodness is one of the most beautiful ways to offer praise and thanksgiving to him. So, to ask the question again, are you a thankful person? Dear Lord, I want to thank you, Lord, for healing me, not just my body, but also my heart. Help us, Lord, to be more thankful. Thank you for your grace, your goodness, your love. We pray that in your wonderful name. Amen. Please join us for our Sunday morning sermon. I bless you with the Lord's love in this day and this week ahead. Go in peace. Thank you. Dear Father God, Today I surrender my life to you. Thank you for sending Jesus to die on the cross for my sin and for raising him back to life so that I can spend eternity with you. I am now your child. You are now my Father and your Holy Spirit now lives in me. Today is the first day of the rest of my life. I love you. Amen. Thank you.